<laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Jason Fury from Never Ending Radical Dude. Today I'm joined by with Mark Espinosa. You're joined. I'm we joined have, with we him. We become one. We are one now. Uh, today we're going to be talking about superhero fatigue. We think, we've talked, that there are just way too many superhero stories out there between comics, video games, movies, TV, superheroes, superheroes, superheroes. Yes. It's a genre. We yes. had X-Men, we had, we had like Spider-Man, but now it's like a full-fledged genre. When you look at the movies coming out and the TV shows coming out, it's just jam-packed with superheroes. Now, do you feel like we're at the point where now they're just going to start just throwing shit out there just because they can? And I, 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 think there, I think when Guardians of the Galaxy came out, that was a signal saying like, hey, you can pick any comic book and oh, make a story out it. of it and it'll be huge. So now there's like... Before they'd be like, "Oh, just do X Men or just do the Avengers," just, the, but now they're just like, "We can do whatever we want." I think even think to a certain extent, Iron Man was a risk. I mean, it it was, but I mean, to an ex at the time, it was because yeah. like, have you know, make no mistake, Iron Man's kind of a B superhero in the Marvel he universe. Was. If you read comic books like we do often, we're in a shop right now, Mission Comics and Art. Be there, San Francisco. That's right. Uh, so let's talk about comics for like a little bit. Okay. So I read X-Men books, Spider-Man books. You read more Spider-Man than I do. Yeah. We read the crossover events, Batman, Superman. DC just had DC Rebirth, yeah. which got me back into DC. We read some Image. Image, totally. Saga. But not really for superheroes. No. True. But like our superhero game in comics is still pretty strong. We're keeping yes. up with the X-Men and Spider-Man and DC superheroes. So yeah. we get a lot of superheroes through that medium. And we love it. Obviously. And we love it, obviously. Uh, so, with comics, it's cool because you can just, like, there's, like, a hundred superhero books out. You can pick and choose, jump in, jump out. Yeah. There's not really a big commitment. Like, with TV shows, I feel like the stories really have a domino effect. Comics, it's just, like, new arc, new story, new direction. Yeah, reboot. You, just, you can jump into a comic whenever you want. TV shows, a little bit harder. Yeah, totally. Um, which brings me to TV. Okay. We watch the CW. I watch all the CW shows. Four shows right now. I would never, I mean, I watch... CW more than probably any other network. True. Think about it. Supernatural. Network wise, we watch Supernatural, Riverdale. Riverdale. <laughs> but just superheroes, we got Arrow, Flash, Legends of Tomorrow, Supergirl, Black Lightning's Black coming Lightning. out. Yeah. Uh, That's Constantine. Shows. Maybe he's going to be in uh, season two or season three of. Uh, Legends of Tomorrow. Okay, so apparently. that's just CW. What about Fox? We've got Legion, Gotham, Gotham. <laughs> Uh, gifted. Gifted. We've got Inhumans coming out soon. We've got yes, Agents, Agents of, of Shield. Shield. That's a different network. They're all different. But yeah. whatever. Um, besides those, what others? Is that all the other superhero shows we've got? Yeah, the actual like superhero comic book shows. I yeah. mean, that's a ton of shows. It's a lot of and shows. And I'm sure we're probably there's probably someone yelling at the screen like, "What about this?" <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry for leave a comment. Getting your impersonation spot on. Spot on. Um, oh. And then we got movies. We got the Marvel yeah. Cinematic Universe. We've got the DC yes. Universe, which is now picking up speed. We have Thor coming out. We have Avengers: Infinity One and Two. We yeah. have uh, Captain Marvel. We have Ant Man, Black Panther. Yeah, Black Panther. And then DC, we've got uh, Batman. Batman. We've got probably Man of Steel Two. We've got they're just talking about <laughs> now they're talking about a Joker standalone, a Harley Quinn and Joker movie. What? Batman, just the Batman movie. I saw something cool today that the. Joker movie should start off with Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy just killing Joker in the first five minutes. And then just make it that kind of movie? Yeah. Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad. Okay. Uh, oh, Green Lantern, maybe? Green Lantern might show up. In, I bet you he might show up in the, the Justice League. Credits. Yeah. Or just during the movie. They mentioned him in the movie trailer. Is that who is like the guys coming in on the camera? Like, who are you? No, like, he's he just said like, he'd come. he's like, no Guardians, no something else. The point is, yes, okay, we just... Fatigue. <laughs> we're, we're getting a little tired. So when they announce new things like the Inhumans and Gifted and... Uh, That's crazy. Like, that, I'm not excited about these two shows. I'm not excited about an X-Men TV show. Me neither. <laughs> you know why? Because there's two X-Men TV shows. Legion makes it three with no X-Men in it. Wait, what's the other one? What? Legion? Yeah. Gifted? Uh-huh. What was it? <laughs> I don't did know. I just throw one in there? I think you did. We just think about the No, movies. Legion... Gifted uh -huh. <laughs> keep, keep in humans is kind of the. Well, I was counting in humans. Yellow. Okay, I guess that is a mutant show. It's kind of its own thing too. They're yeah. kind of like boring mutants. It's more like season four of Mutant X. Remember that show? I do. It was horrible. It was bad. I loved it. So I think we agree. In humans and gifted is where yeah. I draw the line. Yes, I'm not going to watch those. I don't think. 
how do you feel about the X Men movies? I like the X Men movies. Are you excited about the Phoenix one? Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. Cyclops is back. But That's I will true. tell you, okay. this is a we talked about this on a podcast recently, yeah. but. I, I am sick of kind of the current trajectory of the X Men movies, and I would like them to go more seventies, eighties, or nineties style, full on costume. Yes. Do you want a full reboot of those movies? I do. New Wolverine. Yeah. New everything. New everything. I Just start fresh. Eat, yeah. I'm sorry, new jeans. Sorry, new Scott. Sorry, new Nightcrawler. All that stuff. But you gotta go. We gotta start fresh. We gotta be iconic. Yeah. The Avengers did it. Yes. But now, okay. But here's the thing, though. So like, they're just they're pushing out so much crap now. Like. Oh, I mean, oh, movie-wise, we just talked about Avengers DC. We got Phoenix coming out. We yeah. maybe, I mean, Fantastic Four is kind of dead in the water. Yeah. Uh, Deadpool. Deadpool. Gambit great. might come I'm out. Still, supposedly. I don't know. There's just so many movies. But it's, it's hard to say because I'm excited about a lot of it. Yeah. But there are things coming out that I would, like, 10 years ago would have been bashed happy about that I'm like, eh, that just We're kind of jaded at this point. There's yeah. just two... It's oversaturated with superheroes. Yeah. We That's have because Marvel keeps doing it right, though. So it's like it keeps... Even like Def, uh, Defenders, to a certain extent, I wasn't really all that excited about Yeah, it. I mean, Defenders came out... Yeah, we didn't even mention Daredevil, Jessica <laughs> yeah. Jones, Luke Cage. Um, what's the other one? Iron Fist. Iron Fist. Yeah. Those are all super... Like, there's so many. <laughs> yeah. This is too much. I probably spend like four or five days of every year just watching superhero TV shows. Yeah. It's so much time. No. Think about it. Yeah, it's just it's weird though because I do like it, but I just I wish that they would not feel the need. It's like the, is it the whole contract thing? Like they have to do an X Men movie every two. They years? don't want to lose the rights to it or something, yeah. so they just keep slamming them out. But I think we'll agree the movies can kind of like the, there isn't a Marvel movie where I'm gonna be like I'm skipping this one. I I'm gonna watch. That. I can't. That's a dark day. That was right? old Marvel for me. Like I'm like yeah. I, I don't need to see the new. Punisher. But like, what if it's like yeah, new Punisher oh, coming was out? Great. I, I've always been. oh yes. That's right. New Man Punisher thing. is coming out. Man Thing. Yeah. Straight to DVD. New Punisher Netflix show. It's another one. Jesus. We keep popping up with new shows. <laughs> yeah. Defenders, we, it's just so much. Um, I would like them to rain it back. Uh, rain it back, rain it back. Sure. Rain it back, get iconic with these characters again. Yeah. Just kind of, I don't know. I don't know, man. I watched, I watched I like 12, how, I watched 12 I like years. I how broken you are. I watched 12 years of Smallville. Well, that was different. That was there was nothing else though. It's true. It was uh, defining for TV. Yeah, yeah. But 12, it was a lot. Twelve seasons. Yeah. Or was it ten? Yeah. Might have been ten. Supernatural's twelve seasons. Going on thirteen. <laughs> I might get into that. That show is awesome. Yeah. Okay, so Marvel's doing all right to a certain extent. DC's stumbling, and DC uh, animated movies. There's a billion of them. Holy shit! <laughs> That's a whole other door. Superhero, superhero. I like all those. And I don't even Disney XD does like Guardians of the Galaxy. I don't even touch those, dude. Runaways. Avengers, Teen Titans. What's the Squirrel Girl one? That's that's gonna be another one. There's more. There's uh, Cloak, uh, Cloak and Dagger miniseries. What about the Arrow spinoff cartoon? The that's right. Uh, the name? Vixen. Vixen. Jesus Christ. This, there's so much. Yeah, but no, and now you you have to like watch these Marvel DC shows on like their apps. Yeah, you have like the CW seed because like stuff. yeah, because the Cloak and Dagger one is gonna be on one. Yeah, the the Runaways. The gonna Runaways. Be on one. Uh, I don't even know what Squirrel Girl is gonna be on another one. I can't. It, I can't even keep track of it. Yeah. Superhero fatigue. I'm tired. I'm not gonna watch the Runaways. I don't think. I don't I'm think not going to watch Cloak and Dagger. I like the trailer, but I don't think I'm into it. I don't it. think I'm going to watch it either. I'm not going to watch Inhumans. I'm not going to watch Gifted. I'm not going to watch Gotham. I'm not watching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Gotham's awesome. And Agents, you still watch both. I, I, I do love Why them. don't you review them then? Because nobody else is watching them. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> not bad ones. <laughs> I love them. I, you know, I love them. Our point is, <laughs> there's so much out there. How do you choose? What do you guys choose? Tell us. And is it okay to... To skip stuff. I mean, obviously, it's okay to skip stuff, but is gifted? Ne do we need gifted and Inhumans? Probably not. I feel like I'm gonna have to force myself to watch it because I can't not watch an X Men. You want to be show. in the know, right? Yeah, and God forbid, and Legion was awesome. Legion was fucking great. All right, I don't know. I sorry. I, I think that's it. We're tired. We don't have time for this. I'm fatigued. I'm fatigued. <laughs> caramel. Eh. Caramel. 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 <laughs> Who never, cares? Who so cares? Never, never. Who cares, Mel? All right, this is a exit. really bad exit. Great exit. We're I'm Jason Fury. Mark Espinosa. Never ending radical dude. Check us out on Patreon. 
youtube.com backslash never ending radical dude. Until beer. next time, this is cooler than cooler. Peace.